a decision pretty much changed the entire context of this damn game. And it's as simple as that. It changed the whole game. Simple as that. Like, there are no two ways about it. So this changed the entire concept of, of the game. Now, people may hate me for saying this and everything. I, do, I, do, I couldn't really give it down because I don't care what people say because I am the GOAT analyst. 11 v 11, Barca beats PSG, 100%. With 100%. 100%. Barca, Barca are in a UCL semifinals if it's 11 v 11. 100%. Because I was looking at the game, even if PSG were playing well and they were actually doing pretty good, I just felt with Yamal being there, 11 v 11, without that one-man advantage, I think overall over 90 minutes, Barca were what I just found, kept finding ways to get PSG. PSG would have still scored, but I just felt Barca would have been the better team. This changed the entire concept of, of the game. But that's football. In football, you have to live with your decisions. You see, if you could freeze frame and freeze time, Arahu would have said that, we're up, Bakola go. He may have missed the 1v1, even if he scores, it's still good, 11v11 worth the crib was still good. But that's not how football is played. It's instantaneous, split second. And in that split second, Araujo just did what comes naturally to many defenders, try to make something happen and stop him from scoring a goal. That's just how football works. But Araujo will look back and say that, I regret making that decision it was a red card 100 because if he hadn't done that barcola was through 1v1 he was the last man and he stopped a clear goal scoring opportunity he messed things up around her messed things up um who would have thought dembele would have had this game the talent is there the talent is there and you know what is so crazy? Dembele has uh, some kind of weird character within him. I think there is a villainous character within Dembele. Dembele knew what guys were saying. Because what was trending before this game? Figo. And we all know what they did to Figo on his first game back to Barca playing for Real Madrid. And everybody was abusing him, abusing him. The amount of times that Puta was said was crazy. So I think Dembele used that as fuel and said, you know what? Are you going to do this to me? All right, I'm going to react. So it just shows you Dembele's character that he used all that abuse, all that vitriol, all that toxicity within the stadium and channeled it into one of the best games that I've seen of him. Because that guy, beyond just the, the quality goal, he was super effective. And he was the one of the main guys from an offensive point of view that was really causing the most issues. He had a good game. And yes, he outperformed Mbappe. We'll get to Mbappe. But he outperformed it. He was easy one of... PSG's best players. Because he's one of their, their best players. Um, and it just shows that if Dembele can just do this on a consistent basis, he can be superb. Jordan would have always said, right foot, left foot, there are very few truly ambidextrous players in football. He is one of the actual true ambidextrous players where his right foot and left foot are exactly the same. He doesn't have a stronger foot. They are exactly the same. So if he can keep doing this, where keep making good decisions and keep being effective with the ball and keep causing the defense issues. He is one of the most dangerous wingers in the world. He can be one of the most lethal, dangerous, and he can be one of the most fearsome wingers in the world based on just the raw talent and ability that he has. It's just that he just has to execute it. So if he can have more games like this, he can be that freaking dude. But then barely, he, he, cooked, he cooked today. I was shocked. I was shocked as to how good he was and how effective he was to today. But we can't look beyond this guy. This was the, the, the biggest change for Luis Enrique, playing play him from the start. Because once he came on in the first leg, he changed PSG completely. I think Luis Enrique now knows that, yes, he has to now be a starter now. I just think that what he did on that flank, he caused so much issues and he was more dangerous than Mbappe. <laughs> so on that flank, in what he was doing, he caused more issues because he was, he's more direct. He runs straight. Even if he's, he's not as deadly or as lethal as Mbappe, I think because he's so direct 
and he runs in straight lines rather than in zigzags left and right. That is what made him so dangerous. Ask any fullback. What you don't want is that winger going straight. You want him to hesitate, go back and forth. You don't want him just going straight at you because then it forces you to be on the back foot and have to make a decision. And if you mess up a tackle, you miss time a tackle, you are down, screwed. So Barcola was very good. Shout your boy Barcola, who was really good. I feel for him. Do you know when Barca scored and Rafinha scored that goal? I was like, I know what it's going to be. Yamal, a 16-year-old, outperforms Mbappe. Let's say what's up. I tweeted out. Because that goal was all Yamal. Like, literally, like, Rafinha didn't do anything. He just, the ball literally hit his thigh. That was all your mouth. He gave you know, Mendes the, hey, Macarena, 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 hey, Macarena, bought some space, and then boom, and said, what's up? Like, that was all him. I was about to say, bro, this guy's about to have a big game. Announce himself. And do you know what broke my heart? As a football fan, at full time, you saw him hooded over. He was crying. Because I feel for him. Javi had to make that call. He had to make that call. One man down. See what you want about Rafinha. Rafinha he's just better defensively. And for someone so young, one man down, th he had to bring him off. He had to bring him off. Because the entire game plan was completely changed based on Araujo. So for Yamal, I just feel so sorry because this could have been a monumental um, moment for him. And he was robbed of that moment by a complete bozo, stupid decision by Araujo. So I just feel so bad for him because I think Yamal could have had a crazy performance and I, we would have been having a very different discussion if Araujo didn't have that red card. But still, what a player. 16 years of age, what a player. And I can't wait to see him at the Euros. Um, you see, playing with one man down, it's hard. Of course it's hard you're always going to have an opportunity. I remember um, Australia, Italy, World Cup 06. I believe this was a second round game. Italy went down to one man. It was tough, but they just kept in themselves the game. They kept themselves in the game. And when that one opportunity came, Grosso made the right move, won the penalty, Totti, boom. You're always going to have that moment. And I felt that Barca, there is a golden moment here for Barcelona. And it's happened. They got PSG on the overload. It was, I think, a three or one, one or a four and two. Lewandowski had the ball. Ferran Torres was, was, was to the right. Lewandowski. If you're going to shoot, you have to, that ball has to go into the back of the net. At the very least, you've got to make the keeper walk. At the very least, you've got to make the keeper walk. If not, you give the ball to Ferran Torres and hope he not does something. But Lewandowski kept on to, kept onto the ball. He shot and it was a, a block. That was the golden moment. And Barcelona, they knew. Felix Torres, they knew that, oh my gosh, you messed up. Lewandowski, I'm sorry. You're still a great striker, legend. But that was a golden opportunity that you screwed up. Really. Um, you see, I feel sorry for Javi. Don't you dare blame Javi for this. So after our Twitch session... Someone made the call that, like, oh, no, no, Javi must take some blame because the team collapsed when they went a man down. No, Christensen. This is a young team. We already know how Bartomeu lubricated these guys financially. They have no real squad or real depth. I knew the moment that Araujo went off, I knew, I knew it, it was done. And you cannot blame. Javi did tell Araujo to make that moment. Because, see, if this was old school Barca, with the squad and everything, I'm like, okay, you know what? You know, you still have that squad. I'm sorry. The moment that happened, it was the worst possible thing that could have happened to Barcelona, specifically knowing what Christensen did to get suspended for this leg. They just didn't have the body. They didn't have the legs. They didn't have the personnel. And with what PSG had and the amount of weapons that PSG had, that changed the entire context of the game. But even then, Barca had opportunities. Barca had opportunities. And with that Lewandowski opportunity, that's not on Javi. If Lewandowski makes the right call, Barca get a goal, who knows where the game could have gone. So for Javi, I feel sorry because 11 against 11, Javi is in a UCL semi-final, guaranteed. He's in a UCL semi-final, guaranteed. Because I, I felt tactically, 
Barca had PSG. He had it. But what can you do when that decision happens? What can you do? <sighs> he didn't have a, a he did not have a, a good, good no. Barcola played better. Um so Emery probably played better. Dembele for sure played better. He did not have a, a good game. He didn't have a good game. I still think his best position is out wide, but Kassin as a striker was res restricted, and I think Kobasi, obviously Arau before he got sent off, they they they, they got a, a chokehold on him. But football is about moments. Penalty, boom, put it away. And even then, they were only up by a goal. So then it was like, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? What's going to happen? And, and I felt that, bro, that there's a goal here. There's an opportunity here. And if Basel can, can get a goal, tie the game, we're going to extra time, who knows then what can happen? So you just felt past PSG needed another cushion. Because with that one goal lead, anything could have happened with Basel still attacking and believing. And then they got the clutch goal. So overall, not a good performance, but still, Mbappe still says that even when I have a bad game, a horrible game, I can still be a deciding factor. I can still be a moments factor. I told you, I'm a moments guy. I'm a moments merchant. It's all about moments. It's all about moments. If you can be crap, but you can have one moment that is definitive in helping a team win, that's all that matters at this high level of football. And that's what your boy did, man. Great game. Unlucky for Barca, bottom line, one moment changed the entire context of this game. But football is about moments and football is about how you react to those moments. Unfortunately, Barca did not have the personnel or the players to react to that moment. PSG took advantage and it is to PSG's credit that they had the one-man advantage because it was Barcola's great play that forced Araujo into it. So credit to PSG for creating this situation to the advantage and they then took the initiative. So credits to PSG for Barca, only one man to blame, Mataravo.